Hello, in this video we are going to look at a couple of Expressa nodes in Cinema 4D. Uh, for this video we are going to see bitmap operator, bonding, box, collision, color temperature and constant nodes. Let's start with bitmap. Let's create a new scene. I'm going to prepare a basic scene to see what a uh, bitmap operator can do for us. I'm going to create a basic plane and a small sphere. I'm going to create a simple shader for the ground plane and create a texture for it by one uh, 500 pixel and 500 pixel white and height. I'm going to fill it with blue and give the green and red strokes to give some variation. Okay, we can save this as a color JPEG and assign it to the ground shader. Uh, basically what we are going to do with the bitmap operator we are going to transfer the color at the position of the sphere I mean when we when we move the sphere to uh, a position for example here we want the uh, sphere to be blue and here we want to be green and here we want to be the red so basically we are going to transfer the color from ground to the sphere let's create a null object and create a express attack here the express editor you can right click in the gray area to create uh, nodes I drag the sphere to the uh, express editor and create a bitmap we choose the uh, file name for the bitmap operator then we're going to create a global position x and global position z for the sphere if you control double click on a node you can maximize it we're going to plug position x to the x position z to the y later a bitmap operator is going to give us a color uh, in that point so I'm going to drag sphere materials to the uh, express editor and plug bitmap color output to the uh, materials color input. Because uh, our object is 400 uh, centimeter wide and height, we need to uh, plug a range mapper. We need to map the values to fit our uh, plane I'm gonna create two range mapper for position X and position Z and connect for the position X we want to we want to decide uh, input lower and input upper in this case our input lower is negative 200 and input upper and the maximum number is the 200 for the Z it's uh, inverse so we're gonna type to negative 200 and 200 and output lower 0 output upper is 500 that 500 comes from the uh, image dimension so if you see the document size it's 500 pixel and now our position Z of the sphere goes from 200 to negative 200 we're gonna map it to 200 by negative 200 0 to 500 now if you move your sphere you can see it's blue, it's go green, blue again, green, red. You can see this uh, bitmap operator in a, in a different ways. You can uh, paint your ground and you can uh, populate some trees, flowers, and you can give their color from the 
ground shader etc here's the bitmap operator let's move our uh, list okay we finished with the bitmap let's move on to bounding box operator bounding box operator is the maximum array of your object uh, in space in your viewport for example you have a uh, model like this you have a character like this then you want to calculate its bounding box and maximum uh, space in, in the viewport in the global space if you s if you choose from display show as box it's now shows the as box as individual pieces basically we are going to calculate the maximum uh, space of the object in your in your viewport if you uh, combine this object and show box in the viewport you this is what we are going to do here we're gonna create this box from scratch let's create uh, let's create a null object first let's create a cube then we, we're gonna manipulate these points to the to create the uh, uh, bounding box here our expression editor I'm gonna uh, drag cube and the figure one figure one is our main object I create the bounding box node this is my object and I plug it to the object input of the bounding box I don't need these three uh, outputs uh, and I'm going to create uh, eight box point output from the bounding box operator with this eight uh, point I'm going to reposition the points of the cube we need a point operator for to do it to do it I'm going to create eight different point uh, operator and I need to change all of them a uh, point index for the first one you know the index uh, no, uh, points always start with zero so at the end of the point node we need to uh, plug our point index uh, 7 I copy and paste it like 7 times let's position them ok uh, this one is the first one is 0, second one is 1 this is 2, this is 3 this is 4 5 this one is point index 6 and the last one is 7 so I I plug the cube object output to the point uh, object input then I will uh, connect my box point uh, output from the bounding box to the point position of the points just connect it one by one now in the viewport you will see the points is going to grab their position here you can see it starts to build here here is our uh, 
bonding bugs if you play with your character and rotate it the cube is going to uh, refresh itself and calculate the bounding box again here now I'm rotating the figure now for example you can see it's uh, calculating the bounding box in real time uh, it doesn't work with the deformers uh, maybe it works, I don't know but you can uh, the good thing about uh, Express Editor you can uh, change the base object after you s do some modifications to it here you can see it's updated automatically okay this is bonding box operator let's move to the next one the collision uh, operator it's very uh, easy uh, if two objects collide with each other uh, you can trigger some, some it says one so we can uh, plug this zero on one uh, uh, data to anything anything we want it's simply a trigger for example you can plug it to a light you can uh, turn it on or off in this case I'm uh, connecting the enabling okay uh, our next espresso node is temperature color temperature it it reads a uh, Kelvin data Kelvin is a unit of measurement for temperature let's create a, s a simple light and in the light we're gonna create our own user data add user data and we're gonna create a integer uh, attribute called Kelvin it's uh, from 2000 to 8000 for min and max let's uh, let's create a null object and add our uh, color temperature node then we're gonna uh, connect our Kelvin attribute to color of the light the good thing about express editor you can uh, you can use your own attributes let's create color temperature I'm going to connect Kelvin to the temperature and I'm going to connect color temperature color output to the result to see to see what uh, Kelvin is what color RGB value to us for example in this case uh, like a 6500 gives us a 111 RGB values pure white we can drag our light to the expression expresso editor and connect our color of the color temperature node to the color of the light basically now we are controlling our uh, color of the light with the Kelvin value if I increase the decrease the Kelvin it goes red it goes red colors if we increase more than six six thousand it's gonna be more bluish here you can see how the uh, red and green and blue channels are changing by changing the Kelvin attribute our last uh, expressor node is constant 
you can uh, create constant uh, values in the express expresso editor if you select your node you can see in the attribute editor there are different data types if you select integer for example you cannot enter a float number you have to give an uh, integer value if you give a, a path list it asks for path list depends on your what you what type you choose here you can plug other nodes inputs with this constant value here for example this is a vector or there are some predefined constant values like 0 and 1 so for this lesson uh, we cover five different expresso nodes those are bitmap operator, bounding box operator, collision operator, color temperature operator and constant for the next tutorials we're going to uh, cover more so that's all thank you for watching